Our first guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning actress you know from her work in the films Walk the Line and Legally Blonde, as well as the hit series Big Little Lies and the morning show she stars in the new movie Your Place or Mine, which premieres on Netflix February 10th. Please welcome back to the show, Reese Witherspoon, everybody. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. Look at Fred playing the drums. Isn't it? He's just a man of many trades. It's and perfume. He has his own man perfume. Yeah. Well, That's I don't think amazing. it's just for men, right, Fred? Oh, can I have some? <laughs> yes, it's it's for everybody. Okay, so okay, okay. He's so, always he's always for everybody. It's that, unisex. Yeah, it's like, absolutely. It's so, that's so good. <laughs> It's so nice to have you here. And I'm very excited about uh, The Morning Show. You just wrapped season three. Yes. And I'm very excited about that. And I have to imagine, is this the longest thing you've ever worked on? It actually is. This has been five years of my life, three seasons, 10 episodes each. Jennifer Aniston and I were talking about it the other day. It's like, it's like making five movies. So it's, it's like we made 15 movies. Yeah, it's very impressive. 15 <laughs> movies is really, yeah. We made 15 movies together. And uh, you added John Hamm to the cast this year, one of our yes. favorites here. That He's must be so a great. Very easy person to be around. So talented, so smart, and off the top of his head, really funny. Yes. Just comes up with really funny stuff. I'm deeply, I'm always deeply angry at how funny John Hamm <laughs> is, because people who look like John Hamm shouldn't also be funny. He's really, yeah, yeah, it's true. It's a real drag. Yeah, he's really, really funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so I didn't uh, remember this until I saw the photo, but you and Jennifer Aniston worked together before. 20 years ago, uh, you played her uh, younger sister on Friends. I was her younger sister on Friends. Yeah. What? Yes, and the funny storyline was I started dating Ross because she and Ross were on a break. Yeah, I do I do recall hearing that at some point about the two of them. And, and she was gets really jealous and she's like, you can't date Ross. And I was like, I can't. That was... The only thing I can't have is dairy. <laughs> Like, I, was, I mean, I still remember You're the still lines. You're still off book. I still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their writing was so good on that show, so it's really memorable. There's, I have all sorts of funny, famous friends lines that are stuck in my head, don't y'all? Yeah, of course. Everybody Do you has a remember favorite. what it felt like to walk onto that set? Because at the time, it was already a phenomenon. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I was terrified. Um, I was out of my body. Was, my body was there, and then my head and my brain was somewhere else. <laughs> I just had a baby. Wow. Yeah, so that's how I know it was 23 years ago because now my baby is 23. <laughs> um, but I, walking into Central Perk, yeah. that main coffee place, and sitting on the couch, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> oh my God, there's Joey. Oh my God. And then wait, Joey said to me, how you doing? <laughs> I was like, he didn't just say that to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Right, no, but it was so fun. It was so, I was terrified, but Aniston was so sweet to me. She was like, they don't care if you mess up. They actually like it better when you mess up. Oh, that's a very nice thing to hear so. before you do uh, any, any bit of any acting. Any live show or whatever. It wasn't live, but it was recorded in front of this, probably yeah, this many people. Exactly. Maybe it's more. a big deal. I mean, I, I, uh, I didn't do a ton of sitcom work, but the first thing I ever did was in a, in a sitcom, the first line I had on television. Hold on, I think I was on your very first SNL. You were on my very first okay, SNL. So I I was yep. the host of SNL yep. on your very first That is absolutely September SNL. 29th, 2001. How about that? <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. I remember. And, I re and Alicia Keys. Yeah, Alicia and, Keys. Oh my gosh. And then Amy Poehler's first day, too. Yep, it was Amy Poehler's first day. And That's I'll never the, forget meeting you and Amy and thinking, oh my God, these people are so talented. This is going to be so good. I, that was a rare case where no matter how nervous you were, I promise I was more nervous on that Aww. day. It was a trip. But what when, a dream. What a dream that you've had this incredible journey. No, you know? thank you. I, I mean, I'm glad that we're making this about me. I really do. Really. Well, <laughs> I do want to talk about you. You're so, well, you are so loved by so many people. Oh and the God. fact that, like, like I saw Paul at... <laughs> you are. You're just really deeply respected. Everybody finds you so hysterical, but also you're just a genuinely nice human. So, like, Fred comes and plays the drums. Yeah. Because... You're just a genuinely great person. This is so, and it's so hard for me to say this right now because you're so mean off camera. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a real trip when you. Uh, I just I'm, don't want you to tell the truth about how awful I was in SNL. You're like, oh, God. Oh, no, God, it was wonderful. I mean, it was also, you know, 
if we're really talking about that day, the craziest thing about that show is it was two weeks after 9-11. Yeah. It was a, you know, this insane time here. Yeah. And it was also really grounding to be able to go to work and yeah. actually do something for people. It was terrifying, and yeah. It was it a was... terrifying time and we were in New York City and it was right after 9-11 and we were like, and Warren was so adamant that people needed to laugh. Yes. And he, I think he was right, and he brought all these firefighters on, and Paul Simon was there, it was amazing. It was, and I felt, yeah, it was a really... He did a really great job. And when you left SNL, when I left, uh, there was a producer named Kenny Among who used to do this wonderful thing where he would give you the ticket of your first show and your last show framed. So I've got my uh, Reese Witherspoon ticket on oh my, my God, office wall right now. Awesome. So I think about you every day, oh very gosh. fondly. <laughs> Not in a creepy way, just like, yeah. yeah. A... Just a, like a normal, healthy, the way people should think about Reese Witherspoon every day. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I feel really lucky to be part of people's lives for so long. Yeah. And, and the fact that people watch my movies and my TV shows, and it's like, that's a big gift to have people enjoy your work and have a career where people watched you for so long, and I feel really personally about it. I just ran into a chocolate store because I'm like trying to buy chocolates for my kids for Valentine's Day, and this girl goes, Oh my God, are you Reese Witherspoon? I was like, yeah, <laughs> I am. And she's like, she was like, oh my God, I'm an acting student. What should I do? And I was like, okay, wait. First, you do this, then you do that, and then you audition your butt off. You're not gonna get every job, but just work your tail off. And then I thought. I'm so, so, so lucky to have people like that in my life. Well, it's really also, lucky. it's lucky. so nice to use those moments because again, you have them and sometimes they happen when you maybe don't have the time or focus you want to give to a person, but it's so, anytime you do, anytime you actually take a breath and realize, oh, you would be nothing if it wasn't people like this who actually care about your work. Yeah, like, not that it's all, like, back. yeah. I have a movie coming on Netflix. It's my very first Netflix movie. Very exciting. <laughs> and I just, I thought, you know, I was like, I really, I set a goal. I was like, I really want to be on a Netflix movie because I think it's so important that so many people can't leave their house. They can't yep. go places. They're taking care of kids. They have older parents. They have, they work their tails off and then they're exhausted and all they want to do is just sit on the couch with potato chips <laughs> like this. So I'm really excited. It's a really great, I, positive movie. I want to talk about it uh, after this break. I also want to say, to me, it's deeply funny that you, when that uh, person at the chocolate shop saw you, you were doing something very out of a rom-com, which was <laughs> the idea I'm of like meeting Reese Witherspoon when she runs into a chocolate Run. shop I'm running. to buy candy for I Halloween. Actually, I was actually <laughs> I was, actually, I was late for your show because I was buying chocolate. I was like, pull over. <laughs> and like with the full big box, it's a heart. It was fully a rom-com moment. I love it. Well, I mean, so, so some all, it comes natural to some people. Yeah. Um, I want to ask about the movie. We'll be right back with more from Reese Witherspoon.